Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. A disamessa up para um por favor, um para grande obrigad. What's that mean then? A table for one, Mr. Big Dick. Thanks. So fantasy. No, it worked. That's one of the three. Oh, okay. Um, so this week we have a special wish you were queer from Portugal, no less. No less, no more. Hmm. And as you can see on screen is our social media info. Just look for at the could TV. And as the names of people who have reached out go along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike, who has arrived in Portugal. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wish You Were Queer. I'm here in Lisbon, walking backwards towards a door. That's artistic. Um, beautiful big room. Look at the size of the mirrors. Big room. Do you want to see the view? The view's something to watch. Oh, walking backwards again. <gasps> Dangerous. I nearly died. Look at that for a view. Oh. Oh, see, good view that, isn't it? So yes, here I am in Elizabeth. You want to see the bathroom as well, because you know what? Because it's not just—it's not just a big mirrored wall. It's a bathroom too. We love a bathroom. And look, it's semi-reflective glass, so you can kind of see me at it. It's useful, isn't it? Um, so we're just, um, we are. I'm just here for a few days. I've left Leah in back at the studio. He's got some glitter to to maintain. Um, so tomorrow we're going to do some more of Portugal, okay, but today we're just starting off in Lisbon, on its own, just Lisbon, so we're going to have a bit of a wander around the city, just see what there is to do, okay, do you want to come with me? Oh, I'm sure am I, I'm walking up this hill, that's the steepest, steepest thing on the f***ing steep thing day, happy. Hello, and welcome to the next part of Portugal. We're looking for where to eat this evening. And everything looks delicious. Everything looks delicious. There's a lot of fish on the menu, because it's a port. And not, not port port, which is uh, port, as in boats and things. Um, I've slipped up a back passage. I go this way, or this way. I go this way, see what happens. <laughs> so imagine walking all that way up that hill and then realising at the top of the hill there's a f***ing tram. Oh well. sunny and the weird thing is I'm about to go into a Christmas market in the warm and sunny this is a choice I've been to a supermarket surprisingly bought wine and a sandwich because I've not eaten since breakfast which was 12 hours ago well, I say, you know, I've eaten a lot of sweets and Haribo and drunk food, but that's a plane ride for you. So yes, let's cross this busy road and get into a market. I wish a child just so that I can go and see Santa. Oh, look! <laughs> I've just been drawn to the hot chocolate and glue vine. Let's see how that ends up. Here I am, Christmas market. I've managed not to buy any alcohol. Glue vine isn't alcoholic, it's warming. Um, 
a very different atmosphere to Manchester Christmas markets, which is nice. It's different, it's unusual. Oh. Someone's wanging their bell at me. But yes, it's nice. This glue band's delicious. This is a medium. It's a lot in here. I'm going to be quite with you before dinner. But that's good. It was good to have this and then chase down a handsome elf. So the Christmas markets, I have got a pastel de sonata. Ooh, custard tart. Portugal's famous one, so I'm having a bite. First one. Oh no. What do you mean, oh no? You've got like weird foods that you're gonna. So, I, oh, I got no. some pastel de sonata. Yeah, go take the top one. How long you've had that? Huh? They're, they're fine. I want to see the cell. That does not look fine. It's... That's got black mold on it. That's not black mold. That's caramelization. You. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit crumbly. What's inside it? Custard. It's a custard tart. And? Cinnamony. Mm, they have cinnamon to it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to wink at the camera now? Is it giving you that kind of feeling? See, it, it's how it works. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of places have them. Right, mm. and a couple of places that I tried one. The one at Christmas Market was, was okay. There were better ones. Um, but yeah. Freshly prepared. They were freshly prepared. The, this one wasn't freshly prepared. I've had it every, a few days. Just travelled. I just wait for you to finish chewing. It's a really chewy bit. Uh -huh. The whole thing in your mouth at once is quite chewy. There we go. Are we done? Okay. So I brought you a little present as well. Oh. There we go. Just for you. It's lovely. <laughs> it's a fridge magnet of a tram. It's a tram from the 1970s. In well, Portugal. That's, that's lovely. You shouldn't have. <laughs> really? I should no, Really? You shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I shall just pop that there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, I might have bought you another gift as well. Oh, okay. Would you like the other gift? Was it a bearded doll? <laughs> it was a bearded doll. <laughs> oh, it is wrapped. It's not, a, it's not a picture of you on the beach, is it? <laughs> What's it what, did you see a beach there? Is Lisbon not near a beach? There's this but in the video. Godiva. I was naked on the bed. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't aware that the beret was. Was that <laughs> the not. national hat of? Um... It's not. But I thought you'd enjoy it because you've not worn a beret for a little while. Should, would you like me to pop it on? I would like you to pop it on. <laughs> so you could wear that while you're eating your your jammy bread that you call French toast. It's, it's giving very mixed messages. <laughs> what, is it? Isn't it? It's giving. You know. I mean, before it was Liza Minnelli, and now it's... Uh, Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> the low rent Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. Uh, uh, thank you for that. That's lovely. I, I have no idea where else I would wear this. <laughs> perhaps, 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 actually, that is more... That's more Vic. Obviously, <laughs> my friend Kimberly. <laughs> have you seen her? <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a yellow mark. That's lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> I, shall... <clears throat> I should save that for best. I should save it for best, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Like one, it's like a giant 
Purple tit. Yeah. So when I bought it, he said, would you like to try it? Oh, no, it's not for me. Oh. <laughs> Was he an attractive gentleman? You could no. have. Oh no! He was an actual milliner, though. Oh, was he? Did he actually make that himself? Should we just check the? Uh... No, no, he was a milliner, so he sold the hat. Oh, he didn't make it himself. Lots of hats and things. Made in China. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it was actually made in. I can't read it. It's it's in 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 another language. Language. Made in Portugal. Oh, how lovely. You know, you buy something nice for someone. That's I shall, I shall wear that with 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 pleasure, whenever I'm not. The need going arises. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear it where you wear your Crocs. Yes. Yes. I'll have to get. I'll have to get matching colour. I just wear the yellow ones. You're not going out. No. Yeah. It's lovely. Thank you very much for that. <clears throat> Stick around as Mike ventures out of Lisbon. If you know what we mean. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. So where are you off to this time, Mike? So now we're going for a little bit of adventure, a little bit north. Okay. okay in a place called Obido. Obido. Obido, which is an uphill, high up fortification. Oh, oh. dungeons. <laughs> Outside of Lisbon, it's a medieval city, right up high, um, and it's a fortification thing. So it's a way up high, medieval kind of feeling. It's very pretty. Um, can go up on the walls, which is up there behind me, um, and I think that might be happening. <laughs> I'm not good with heights. I wonder. Okay, I'll be those chocolate house. Now, what I have noticed is that this is not made of chocolate. It is made of some sort of stone plaster. I wish to complain wholeheartedly. I might give it a lick anyway. steps with no handrail up to a plinth wall building still with no handrail some beautiful views from up here on a wall with zero howl trails Shear drop. No oh, handle shear drop. Just did that. 
freaked out. The audio kept running, but the video did not. Um, let's hear we've not having a great time, shall we? Oh, no. Oh, look, no, that's not happening. I'm not saying I'm chickening out, but, um... Oh, f***. bollocks, f***. That's Obidus. 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 Obidopido. Obidu. Obidu. So, they do this, um, frankly delicious cherry liqueur here. So the little chocolate, um, I forgot to film it because I was drinking them. Very. I need to go back and get some more to, to film that. I'm already quite wibbly. I may not. Um, if only there's a way I could get some to the studio. I think I may have that power. Handsome Mike, do you have anything to share with me? for the handsome mic that it was referring Me? to. Right, so I had hoovered up a lot of samples of... I don't want anything this. that you've had up your arse, Mike. Alcohol. Yeah. It's not been up my arse. That's how you smuggle things in. Don't need to smuggle things in, because it is of a small enough... Ooh. I don't, I don't like alcohol. You can just taste it, because it comes with chocolate. Um, but it's, it's cherry. There's little cherries in there. Uh, yeah, nice. You, you don't want it on it, that's fine. Um, but what happened was, after getting up on the wall, I, I basically did three of those shot things. Now, they do come in chocolate cups when you're there. And then you eat the cup afterwards. You eat the cup oh. while drinking. So it's, it's just like a, like a, like a, um, like a, um, yeah. Like a one of them, yes. Yes, a, um, one, uh, what do they call them? Chocolates with wine in them. What are they called? Liqueur. Liqueur. Chocolate liqueur. Yeah. However, I'm not making a chocolate cup. I'm just having a, because I'm not. Asked. Okay. So. Respecting their culture, but that's fine. Their culture, it started in the 70s, this tradition. Oh, so it's it. not really a, a cultural thing. Oh, I can't get into it. There's a, there's a sampler for you. And then what do you do? So that and a bit of chocolate. Chocolate in your mouth first? Yeah, yeah I would. Just the one? <laughs> Yes. Do you let the chocolate melt? No, I just ch chew and chew and try. That was delicious. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you like it? Sorry, what was that? Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, burning. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious. Mm. I had quite a few of those after going up that wall because I don't do well with heights. When did you breathe on a wall and strip the entire paint? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that strong. <coughs> you know, it's what, 20%? <coughs> oh, 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 it's loosened some flat. Oh, oh, oh. 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 So, yeah. Spittoon. Yeah, and it's called Gingina. Gingina? Yeah, it's tasty. Mmm. You're not a fan, are you? No. It's alcohol. No, I'll just. That... <laughs> I'll that enjoy another chocolate. No, I'm fine. Well, I had that huge um, that, that cake thing, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> the cake thing. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, Fill your boots, love. Huh? <laughs> I shall. <laughs> I've not driven today, it's fine. So yeah, I'd had a quite a few of those coming down off the wall mm -hmm. because I was a bit. Mm, a sudden, a sudden little... Hello, <laughs> I'm drunk. How are you drunk? You spat. <laughs> medicinal, medicinal. <laughs> <gasps> what have you given me? Medicinal. What is it? What's the word? That's stolen the word from my brain. 
Medicinal. It's not that. <laughs> Medicinal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Medi- Medicinal purposes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now then um, so yeah so that that was wait to just try some of the ginger that got me through that trawler oh very traumatic it was very traumatic how you so managed it it was a small group so you keep mentioning where's the rest of the yes group. it's a small group tour okay did they not like you well no they went off and did their exploring and i got to do my exploring oh they so, went Oh, we're just going off this way, Mike. Oh, right, uh, you, you'd go, I was like, yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Only in American accents. Oh. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Gee, honey, you just go, you go that way. We'll meet you in 10 minutes, okay? And then you went and they weren't there. And there was like a coach come past. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was well liked. And were you? Yeah, Instagram was being followed. Oh, were they? Were they? Were they of a Lovable. of a, yeah, of a young? <laughs> were they of an older generation of American or were they younger? Mixed. 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 I had thirties, forties. Okay. Did yeah, you f- have them? <laughs> no. No. I was too busy trying to get into, into the talk guide. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Passive. Well, um, coming up next. Um, we're going to Nezra, a surfing hotspot in Portugal. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and now what's going to happen is Mike is going to show us exactly how in shape he is as he dons a skin-tight neoprene and pops himself into the sea. <laughs> Um, religious site, Pope's visited, all that sort of stuff. But they gave me a free almond that's sugared. That is delicious. I need many of those, many of those in my life now. Very sunny, beautifully sunny. I might be burning, I don't know. Um, I just walked down to near to the beach, which is just over there behind me. Walked down a massive hill, completely forgetting that I have to walk up the massive hill. I may have made the error, but it's beautiful. It's very serene. It's got some of the world's biggest waves here, apparently. So, well, leave when you get to come surfing. Let's go to Portugal. Um, it's very pretty, very quiet, with lots of tourists about, but it's so quiet, you know what I mean? That, that kind of coastal, it's not Blackpool. That's what it's not, Blackpool. We could have a bit more of an explore. There you go, I'm starting to walk up this massive, massive hill. I'm already out of breath. I've taken four steps. That's where I've come from. This is where I am. I'm already out of breath. Oh no. I've decided to take a little rest. Yeah, Farah. Um, I might die. the top um, but I've been stopped by um Lee, I, I know that Lee has a phobia of statues you know, human statues but I'm not sure how you feel about a statue with a stag face human body and a surfboard I mean that's a very unique and bespoke kind of place uh, I wonder if there's anything like that around here 
I've just moved around that statue. It has no ass. Flat assed. Poor thing. Impressive balls at the front, no ass at the back. What is he? Is he, the, is he the guardian of the sea? No, he's not. Um, he's a representation. So the story of, of Nazareth is that um, the landowner, a worthy man, <clears throat> was chasing a stag for it was possessed by the devil. Oh! And it, it was running and running. It was foggy. And he sees a, a, a basically an effigy of the Virgin Mary and stops. And then the stag runs off a cliff and dies. Oh! He is saved. So n in nowhere in that story did the owner fall accidentally in the in the stag man and go oops and put his penis up his bottom. No. Oh. Um, but it was considered a miracle. Um, it's a miracle. The fact that he saw this statue and so didn't die. Oh. Um, so they renamed it Nazareth after Nazareth. Nazareth the and stag. And the Pope's been to visit last I year. I see. Yeah, went over and went, oh yes, this is a holy site. Isn't it lovely? Yes, let all the kids. And gave me some wine. And take me away, because the art obviously comes from the Deep South. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Deep South, it's Argentina. Yes. Yes. Um, but you know, the little nuts that they had, the candied nuts, would you like to try one of those? Mm. Did you go back and get a... I got, I got some candied nuts. Get me some candied nuts. This this bag was a lot, had a lot more in it. What if they candied them in? <clears throat> Pubic hair. They're good. If I eat this and you say it's a turd, <laughs> no, I'm not going to be happy. I've just eaten one. Yeah, but you eat them all the time. Uh huh. Good. Mmm, crunchy. Mmm, crunchy. Sugar rate. Because it's actually what they do is they caramelize ants and put them in like a big bowl. <laughs> 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 they don't really. It is just a nut in sugar. There's barely any nut in there, Mike. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar. There is a lot of caramelised <laughs> stuff on top. You're not angry, though, are you? I think one is enough. Hence why they only give you one. Yeah. Oh, there's this thoughtfulness there. Mm. But um, by the ladies of the seven skirts. Oh. And what happens is the ladies that walk around, and they're literally wearing... Like, skirts. Six, seven skirts. Because six skirts would be the ladies of the six skirts, rather than the ladies of the seven skirts. Um, so they're wearing lots and lots of skirts and things, so they're very warm. Is it because they've got big fat asses eating all those? <laughs> yes. Um, and the idea is if, if they're ever out and it's cold, they can use the skirts to make a full-on body wrap so they can keep warm. I'll just wear a jumper. That's all we need. Just wear a jumper. I'm disrupting the tradition. Get your culture, stick it in the bin. Just put on a jumper. Put a cardigan on. Pop yourself off to fat face. Get a nice one in the sale. You all right there? Are you Larry drunk after that? I am <laughs> raging. <laughs> half a teaspoon of alcohol you had yes. in your mouth for three minutes. That's half a teaspoon of alcohol like, that's not passed my lips in the past 20 years. Ooh, I'm off me tits. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that you have a family bottle of Amaretto. Yeah, well, yeah. So this, I've not had alcohol for 20 years. It's a lie. Yeah, but it's mixed with hot chocolate, so it, it dilutes. That mixes with hot chocolate quite well. Mm, how many are there of you there, Mike, now at the moment? <laughs> seems to be more than one. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing next? <laughs> We're still talking. Coming up next, yes. apparently. Oh, is it you or is We're it me? We're still talking. Oh, are we still talking about so it? Four minutes. Oh, <laughs> God, I have nothing are else to say. Are you actually drunk? I'm, I feel a little bit woozy. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> a little bit woozy here. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to... <coughs> 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 Sick on the table. Um, do we have to talk more about We've that? More talk, stuff to talk about. About what I've just said. Sort of thing, yeah. You going uphill, getting out of breath, yes. eating a peanut. Right, okay. Then... Because, because nuts are a big thing in Portugal. Oh. Um, is it a sugar coated macadamia nut? Yeah, well, um, what is it? What's it look like? I don't know, mate. I can't suck up focus. <laughs> is it peanut brittle? I'm going to say yes. Is it a peanut cookie? Yes. Made of chocolate and peanut. Is it peanut butter? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> How have they made it? 
Yeah, I don't know how they made it. They're just, they're just delicious. I've got a few for it. <laughs> how much? Mm. Well, very textured, the food from Portugal, isn't it? <laughs> They're peanut biscuits. Peanut what? Biscuits. Peanut biscuits. <laughs> well, I've got a small piece in my mouth. Yours Peanuts! Too. Don't have to eat it. Not overly keen on that. Not overly keen on no. it? No. No. That's interesting. Salted peanuts. Mm. Chocolatey biscuit. I think they're delicious. But yeah, lots of nuts in, in Portugal in their food as well. You what? What? <laughs> Oh, claggy. <laughs> claggy sensation. <laughs> Over mouth. Okay. Around the teeth. <laughs> Take him out, give him a rinse throw, you'll be right. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Not your favourite. No, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't eat a whole bag in the sitting. <laughs> I won. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the night to be correct. <laughs> if, there was, <laughs> if there was nothing else around. <laughs> After you've eaten somebody else's chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but they very pretty. Lots of sporting activities happen. So they had the surfing and wakeboarding. and it's No photographs of the surfing. Well, it wasn't actually happening because I've already said the weather was good, so the, the sea was calm. Oh. So the little waves were just lapping up on the ship, like Blackpool. Did you go for a paddle? I didn't, know yeah. Because it was further downhill. Okay. And you saw how out of breath I was getting up the hill. What a shame to go that way and not, not dip your feet in the sea, Mike. What a shame. Get my feet Are you disappointed wet? in yourself? No, because I get my feet wet in the shower every time. No, but you do. It's not often you get to put your, sea in the, your feet in the ocean. See in the ocean and the feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> out of that much alcohol, right, I have because the Because I don't drink at all. <laughs> Mouth Imagine wash. if I took heroin, I'd be dead. <laughs> yes, you would, because, yeah. Like, literally, just, pass, just die. Because the mouthwash has got less al more alcohol in it than what you had. Well, I'm, I obviously have a very low tolerance. Be a hot chocolate <laughs> with amaretto. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, coming up next, we go all the way to Porto, home of port wine. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Welcome back. Now let's explore Porto. I had lunch, it was tasty. It's not what it was tasty. Now outside of the castle, which is like the rest of this country. Uphill. Everything is uphill. Even that bit down there, I'm going to have to go up a hill to get down there. It's me. That's delicious. Trial. So that's the end of Porter. 
back to the studio. Wow. If only I wasn't alone. Wow. I enjoy my own, my own holidays. Do you? Yeah. But do you? Yes. Because, you know, when you have those conversations, what are you doing tomorrow? Mm. Right, and you have to have that, oh, should we do this? No, let's do that. I don't have that. I'll go, tomorrow I'm doing this and do it. Wheezing up a hill. Wheezing up a hill. <laughs> Wheezing down a did hill. You, did, you, did you make any friends of, of, mm. of the gentleman kind? Did they come visiting? I got railed three times. Oh, OK. That's what you're asking. Um, well, not so blunt. <laughs> you know, I was, yeah. <laughs> Ham-fistedly hinting at. That's OK. Was it, was, it a, was it an enjoyable experience? Yes. How did it compare to your lovers in this country? On a par. A, on a par? On a par. They don't have the Portugueses, don't have... Portuguese. Portuguese. Did you like that? Portuguese. Portuguese. Did they have... Oi, oi, I'm a Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they make love differently? I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> do you want me to answer the question? Yeah. Or you actually want me to answer the yeah. question? Yeah. Does this... Does I just, just have to ask one last time. You actually want me to answer yeah. this question. Do they make love differently? No, they all <laughs> inside you. Okay. It's the same. Okay. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it was lovely. Is it definitely uh, different than uh, English? Just a little bit fresher. A little bit fresher. A little bit. Well, more it's because of, of the open air, isn't citrusy it? Citrusy kicked. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like all, a... that, all that fresh air going up and down the hills. Exactly. It's more. It's, it's more akin to a Pinot Noir. Oh, how lovely! Very light and fruity. Nice. Strong. Um, but yeah, talking about things you put in your mouth. Food is really important in Portugal. Big part of their culture. They, they're a late eating society. Oh. So they snack a lot during the day. Yeah, and then they have a big meal at. They have a big... <laughs> Where the f*** did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> then they have a big... Williams has been channeled. <laughs> then they have like a big meal, at, a family meal at night, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. um, but I, while I was there, I did some, some tasting tours as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I started off with some green wine. Green wine. In the style of lady, and then Braj is the last name of the person who supposedly invented this dish back in the 1700s. And so again, bacalhau a Braj, literally caught in the style of Braj. And so she's still very much a part of this neighborhood. And I asked her. Because Camilla, I would recommend you look our stuff up online. She's a great photographer. And because she's a great photographer, she has traveled a lot for work. She's had, she has seen her fair share of work. They call the new kids on the block. No, just the new kids. Oh, right. And then the resistance, which is what they call the old old people. Oh, right? the old people. The old people because they're resisting like dying. Oh, the resistance just going. We're not dying. Yeah, ever. Um, but Portuguese houses are really small. Mm -mm. They tend not to have washing machines, in, so they have public laundrettes. Okay. Okay. Which are hand wash only kind of places. Oh. And what the resistance do is they charge the new kids to go and do the hand washing for them because the oh. kids are going. I can't. Do they go? Uh, uh, oh. Uh-oh, 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 I'm not paying. It wasn't really worth it. It really wasn't. Well, it wasn't worth the payout for that. No, wow. Um, I'm going to get caught. Um, but the, basically the old people will wash the clothes and charge them to do it. Okay. Right. Um, but as a, another thing that they're doing is for the old people, they're teaching them how to do graffiti. The young kids are teaching, the, the old, new kids are teaching the oldies to do graffiti. Graffiti, right, but nice graffiti. So pictures, nice. Pictures and mules and things. So um, not just pictures of cocks? No, not just, just pictures of cocks. But, um, <laughs> nice cocks. 
But it was quite funny because at one point the tour guide started to giggle. And I go, what are you giggling at? So some old people were walking past. And he's like, what, what's so funny is that he translated it that they were just talking about which wall they were going to go and tag. Oh. So actually the doddery old people go, I'm going to go and tag that wall okay, over so there. I was going to go to tag that wall. Okay. So it's quite interesting. That's that. Yeah, that, that's genuinely interesting. That way. The accent was a bit. Yeah. What was it? I don't know what it was. It was a hybrid of many different accents. Yeah. Where do they get? Do, do they spray them with spray paint? No. Dot, mottle and daub. I don't know what I'm saying. No. Um, they use spray paint, yes, in a can. With a... Have you got any pictures of old people art? Yeah, but it was on screen, but you're too busy making mockery of what, what they I, I saw a face. Yeah. Okay. That was one of them. Oh, how nice. Yeah, you're too busy making jokes about stuff. Sorry for having fun. Isn't that Sorry we... for being drunk, Mike. Sorry for being drunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Where... So, um, Portugal, port. So, and this came about because um, the French stopped the English having wine. Mm. They put an embargo on. And so we went, shit, we need wine. So we got it from Portugal, right? But it used to get a bit funny in the scene travelling over. So they used to stick brandy in it. And that's how port was invented. Named after porter. I'm going to have one. You can get gout from drinking too much port. You can. So, uh, in, as I have uh, been <laughs> You're not having off any. my head from a <laughs> mouthful <laughs> of that. <laughs> from a half a teaspoon of I'm not having any of that, for I will become gout ridden. <laughs> More. <laughs> With, uh, within seconds. Is it, is it an aperitif? It's a drink. You drink it like brandy. <laughs> no, do they do they just drink do they drink it after something? Do they like have a meal and then go, oh let's have a nice pour? Yeah, an after meal thing. Do you want to smell? You don't it smells like booze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells like tastes like booze. <laughs> tastes, like, it tastes like alcohol it tastes booze. Like alcohol like all alcohol tastes the same. Well, doesn't this taste lovely? Well, how many bottles of that did you bring back? Just the four. Just the four. Because I was I was flaying like Within Europe, so oh, okay. hundred mils has to fit in a plastic bag. Oh right, okay. Um, I took out my little plastic bag with all my you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, and all that sort of stuff. Lube, lube. Um, came back with just booze, just booze, just a big booze. bag full of booze. Yeah, all of the toiletries were left behind. All the little miniatures. Hmm. Um, so, is, do, do you have a little port before you go to bed of an evening? <laughs> just to send you out to Bobby's. <laughs> No, no. I had a ketamine normally. Went to... <laughs> um, but that's almost the end of the show for now. Don't forget you can find us on at the Could TV on your social media networks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no more. No. No. Too drunk now, mate. No. no. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> <laughs>